Hey guys, this is the Craftsman Engineer here, and today we're doing Space Agency, and I'm just... Right, well, I did so many things wrong in the previous episodes, and... One minute. And I ruined our space stuff, and stuff, and I just ruined everything, so... We're having a bit of a fresh start today, so I'm just reinstalling this. Come on, reinstall. Hurry up. I'll do tutorial. So, we're starting off fresh, and that means that I'm going to combine the two series into one. So, I'm going to do the walkthrough and then the space station builder. Because, in order to do the space station, I need to do the walkthrough to get the parts. Now as we're here, we can bring it into here, move it across, and, oh, 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 and we can play the game for what my iPod will think is the first time. Now, everything, oh, now everything that I've done in the last four episodes, I want you to completely forget, because we're starting afresh. Now, Welcome to Space Agency. So you think you've got the right stuff, do you? Let's hope so. We'll start you off as a cadet and put you through our astronaut training program. Only the best make it through. If you succeed, you will have gained all the skills required to command some real missions. Good luck. And now, as our Space Cadet, we get... Space Cadet Badge. We get the first seven missions. We get Sandbox. And we can wait to unlock those. So, as we are here, we will... Do launch training. This is mission control. From here you can read the mission briefing and see the status of your vehicles. The briefing contains a set of objectives and a detailed description of the mission. The descri the, uh, the objectives are ticked as you complete them. I can't see objectives now. Vehicle 1 and 2. This is where you build and fly your rockets. For some missions, you might decide that it's more effective to launch two smaller rockets rather than one huge one. Never done that before. The choice is yours. Demo movie. If you're struggling with a mission, the demo movie will show you what to do. So, click the briefing. T1. Launch training. Build a two-stage rocket. Successfully launch the rocket. Enter Earth orbit. Budget. 5,200,000. Max time, 1 minute 10 seconds. This training mission will teach you how to assemble a simple rocket and launch it into space. Tap the vehicle 1 button and assemble the following four rocket parts. Fairing. This protects the vehicle from overheating during launch. The second stage. Takes over once the first stage has run out of fuel and has been jettisoned. Interstage connector. Links the first and second stages. First stage. This stage gets the vehicle off the launch pad and part of the way to space. It is powerful but has limited fuel. And isn't that... well... bad. As it is a training mission, no payload will be carried. Once constructed, launch the rocket into slowly air blah blah blah. For gold, we need to have it, it can always cost 5,200,000, and it needs to be less than a minute. Silver less than, needs to be less than a minute 5, and bronze less than 1 minute 10. <coughs> Excuse me. So, click on vehicle 1, click on small stage, oh. Add a stage, drag items sideways from the menu and drop them into the build area. Remove a stage, drag the stage from the vehicle stack and drop them. Size guide, use the colour sized color-coded size lines to see which f stages fit together. Now blue is small, green is medium, and orange is large. Now as this is a training it's already got all of these pieces lined up so we can literally just click drag. Orbit estimate. This orbit estimate icon show how close to orbit each individual stage will get. 100% the stage will reach orbit. 50% the stage will get halfway to orbit and Earth with a little red arrow, the stage is overloaded and will fall under the weight of the stages above it. Or it will not or it will not move up or down at all. Which is bad. So once we've done that we can click launch. Getting a nice count down there. And now as I've played the game before, I know that my best ten. Now I know that my optimum is to press the thrust button on 5 seconds. So as it says here, press and hold the thrust button to start the rocket's main engines. Slide left and right to turn or gimbal the engine. 
Gimbaling the engine changes the rocket during rocket's direction during flight. And that's what I was about to say. So nine, eight, seven, six, pressing button, four, three, two, one, and we have lift off. The tower has been cleared, we are good to go. And now, as we launch up into the atmosphere, we are watching our fuel gauge in the top left, no, top right, sorry, see how much fuel we have before we jettison. Now here as it said, your rocket needs to gain speed as well as altitude. To achieve this, you must tilt or roll the rocket. The pitch gauge will change to indicate required roll angle. Keep the rocket inside the triangle. As we do this, we can literally just use the gimbal link that we learnt about to turn the rocket over, and this is just me, but I prefer to have that thing orange when I'm launching. Now, as I just said, we are approaching the engine cutoff, which means that we're going to run out of fuel and we need to stage using the little button in the bottom left. As it says here, this stage of, ro of your rocket is out of fuel. Use the separate button to discard the spent stage. You'll also need to separate the interstage connector, or skirt as it's called. Once the skirt has been separated, ignite the second stage engine using the thrust button. Now as we press this undock button, you can do it, and off to the right it shows us our, altimet our altitude using ALT, which stands for altimeter, as I was going to say. But I accidentally said something else. It said shows our altimeter, which is the altitude thing. And there we go, we have gotten the gold award by getting into space one second under the required time. And in space it, stuff is highly disproportionate, so don't worry. So click on the brief. Training 2, basic manoeuvring. Park in the target area, max time 3 minutes. Now that you have mastered launching a rocket, it's time for you to do some training in space. The navigational computer, or navicomp for short as it's called, has been programmed with a simple obstacle course. Use the module's thrusters, manoeuvre through the course, and park in the green target square. The trick to moving accurately in space is to move, then stop, then turn, then stop. Don't try and move and turn at the same time. Now, I know from experience that turning while moving is very bad. So as we're here, we can use the thrust bits here, or at the bottom, our little arrows. Now, this is monopropellant, and... That's sort of the spacecraft shooting out little jets of air to propel it in space. Now this monopropellant propellant, sorry, is controlled by uh, something called the RCS. Now you may hear me talking about this, and RCS stands for Reaction Control Systems. And it's used to control things such as the RCS uh, monopropellant in order to keep the rocket, well, steady during flight and also to control its pitch. Now another thing that's used in real rockets flights to uh, keep it steady is something called the SAS and I don't mean as in like the army force thing, I mean as in something in rocketry known as stability augmentation systems. Now there are other ones for those, there's ASAS which is just advanced stability augmentation systems and that uses electrical power to keep the rocket stable during flight but we don't need to know about that all we need to know about is monopropellant thrust and gimbal and we completed that with the silver award now clicking the briefing training 3 docking dock the resupply module and dock the resupply module max time 3 minutes time to put your fine manoeuvring skills to the test with some docking Damn. Using a bit of the engine here. Clicking onto the other craft so that we can see when it goes into the middle. Reverse or retrograde thrusting. Turning the rocket ever so slowly. And as it goes to the right place, going onto the other bit, thrusting forward. Stopping and now just spamming this. And we got the silver award. Now to the next one.
orbit exit. Leave orbit. Max time, one minute. Some missions will require you to leave orbit and travel to other planets. This mission will teach you how to leave orbit. Right, I'm not going to read all of that. Gold, less than 12 seconds. Silver, less than 30. Bronze, less than 1. If you really want to read all of that, here you go. Read it. You can always pause it to do it. Now let's go. Click on the vehicle, and as we get here, just want to bam, hold the thrust button. And just get out of here as quickly as possible. And that is how you get gold. Now for this mission, T5 re-entry. Re-enter the atmosphere, splash down. You're doing well, you know how to get into space and how to move around. Now I need to learn how to get back home. A crew module attached to a service module has been placed in orbit. Your mission is to safely re-enter the crew module and splash down it. And that should be and. Into the ocean. Uh, right, here's a bit. You'll, re you'll encounter turbulence during re-entry. Keep the heat shield facing downwards at all times to prevent the module from overheating. So as we're here, scroll in using the pinch or double tap. Using the RCS of the service module. You should also note that this is the Apollo service module as used in the Apollo missions to places like the moon. And now don't try this because I'm a highly not trained professional, non-professional. And I'm going to do this and possibly risk our astronaut's lives. Now as we come down, just using the monopropellant to make sure that the red bit at the bottom or the heat shield is face down. And as we're re-entering, we've got the re-enter reflex and turbulence trying to throw us off to the side. Turn, turn, turn. Now generally you can do this using about three quarters of the RCS, but don't worry if you go under or over. If you go under, you're brilliant. If you go over, you're still brilliant. Just not as brilliant. Nah, never mind. You're, bo you're both as brilliant as one another. And if you get it exactly, you're a pro. I'm not a pro. That's, that's why I kind of don't like re-entering. Because I generally use up most, if not all, of the RCS. Uh, monopropellant, sorry. I've really got to catch myself saying that. And here we go. As we're in between these two green arrows, it will allow us to deploy the parachute. And there we have it. Our first astronauts of the UCAEA have re-entered. If you don't know, UCAEA is something I just made up about three days ago. Stands for Unofficial Craftsman Aerospace and Engineering Agency. And that's who I work for now. Self proclaimed leader. Are oh, yeah. And now, just as we drop down, it's silent because there's nothing to say. I really should have opened the parachutes later. And we're about to hit the water at post re entry parachute opening speeds and hopefully survive. I have had craft bang on me before, but. Right. T6, orbital maneuvering. You've already ma mastered maneuvering in open space, and I need to m master maneuvering in orbit. It's much more tricky. And that is true, it is. Gold, less than 30. Silver, less than 2 minutes. Bronze, less than 5. By the way, that's 30 seconds. Now, as we're here, and the thing's there, we're going at relatively the same speed to the planet. No, we're not. It's speeding away from us. So, using the pinch to scroll in and out, rather than double tap, because I'm awkward, like that. Quickly, got to turn up. Being careful to watch our velocity, so that we don't go out. Now using the engine gimbal. And there we go. Gold. Well, that was easy. And our last mission. Navigation. Park the module in a target area. We've nearly almost done this. So, as we're out in open space, if we use... There's a thing there called Way, which is a waypoint. And the number underneath it says 206. That means it's 206 Navicomp miles away from us. Now, if you put the red line, which is where you're going, 
and the green line, which is where your craft is heading, pointing towards, into that little dot in the centre, you're likely to get a really good line when you're going there, so... If you keep that in mind, you should be able to get just about anywhere quickly with really high efficiency. If I just pinch out quickly, and as we get to about 50, I'm going to start retrograde burning. If you don't know, retrograde literally means to go backwards. And burning is obviously uh, to use up fuel to gain thrust. Just going to continuously do this as we park in way. Scrolling again. And there we go. We have parked in way. Oh no. And there we go. We have done all of the training missions. You passed. Congrats. You passed the astronaut training program. You've earned your wings, it's time for you to fly some real missions. Good luck. And that is just about it for today's episode. So we've done these all again. And we've got these for next time. So yeah, that was a fresh start. And I'm the Craftsman Engineer. Uh, goodbye and I will see you next time. Leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye. Hey guys, this is the Craftsman Engineer here, and today we're doing Space Agency, and I'm just... Right, well, I did so many things wrong in the previous episodes, and... One minute. And I ruined 